hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can implement razor pay payment gateway in your android project using kotlin so payment gateway razor pay is kind of a sdk which provide you a mechanism to get the payment using the credit card net banking or multiple ways so i'll show you how you can implement so first of all we need to create an account in a razor pay so i'll provide you the uh, url of razor pay uh, website in my description so i already have created an account so i can show you so here you can see the all the transaction and lot of information and on top you can see this is the test mode so i'm going to implement it in the test mode in live mode you need to complete some formalities for uh, razor pay like you need to provide some information to them for kyc and this is the key we need you can uh, get it from under the setting tab so we will i'll show you how you can use it and under the transaction you can see all the transaction what payments people have made to you and as i said for the live mode you need to complete this kyc so i haven't done it so you can do it if you have to implement in your live project this video is just to complete the demo purpose so here uh, in the document section you can see the android you can click on it so here is the all the instructions which you can use and this is very easy to integrate in your application so there are step by steps instructions are available you can follow those instructions and you can be available integrate this sdk very easily so first of all i have created a um, empty project and we need to copy that dependency and add it here in your build.gradle file and the second dependency you need to copy and add it inside your dependencies block and now sync your project So once your project is sync, there are a lot of instructions available here. So it is showing you how you can use or how you can implement in your project. These are the ProGuard instruction like when you are going in live. So these are the instructions you need to enter in the file. And this is the function where you can add some information and make the payment like how much payment you want then you can use this block and that is available in the java and kotlin both there are a lot of functions available i'll show you how you can use those so our project is sync now and let's go to our main activity and the layout file so first of all we need to add a button on this activity so i'm simply adding a one button on one this button click i'll call that function we'll see Razor pay payment gateway and will make a payment with the credit card and the net banking. And all I'm going to do in the test mode only. So we'll implement this button click first. And on this button click, we'll call a function. So let's define that function first. and we'll call this function on the button click so we'll see the instructions now and the first instruction they said first of all we need to initialize the sdk so checkout.preload is the function which is kind of like initialization done in the sdk side And second is this is the function they gave already so inside this function there is a block of code block of line like checkout object so let's create this checkout object inside our function and now this whole try catch block will copy and paste it 
so we don't need a new they might made a mistake because this is Kotlin and we'll simply call this here because we are doing this is the activity and now we we'll, we don't need a uh, order ID so I'm removing it and here I'm changing a name so I'm giving it as learning world similarly I'm making a change for the description I leave these color and currency INR and amount so remember like you need to make the payment of 500 dollar 500 rupees then you need to add two zero zero two times zero more this is not the 50,000 this is just the 500 rupees and we don't need this block of course we can comment it out so in the email and contact number where I'll add any email for now and a phone number this phone number is very important because they are going to send a SMS just to verify who you are or the you are the right person to make the payment and that's it next step is we need to override this payment result listener so we'll implement this and we'll override those two functions that is on payment success and on payment error so these function get called whenever we make any payment and based on the payment if it is success or failure we get the callback here or in the callback we get the payment ID if it is success so I'm just printing that payment ID or the message in a toast message you can use that order ID and later on send it to your server your application server once your payment is done similarly for the error if there are any error occurred then I'm showing just a error tossed message to the user and now next step is we need to define the internet permission in our manifest file and second step is we need to define the metadata in our manifest file that should be inside the application block and as I mentioned you when we created an account on our razor pay dashboard there was setting and the API key so we need that key and we need to pass it here inside the metadata So let's review it looks good to me let's run and see so now I have launched successfully I'm clicking on pay button and it's loading the razor pay now so you can see now so let's see first option we can see So there are some test credit cards number they have provided already so we can use those to make the payment and as I said like it verify the phone number so it send an SMS on that number what I mentioned over there in the JSON file so now I need to enter the code 
so it's verifying the otp i already have that one credit card saved because i use this razor pay sdk so many times so as you can see i, me I mentioned 50000 there but it is just asking for the 500 rupees here you see so that two digit denomination is for the some pesa kind of pesa and uh, some after the like rupees and some like 99.99 so if you want to pay in, then you have to pay 99.99 instead of remove the point and then just pass the whole amount so you see i'm declining now you see uh, payment is failed now let's add let's see uh, we, what we can do now we'll use some um, another bank to make the payment uh, let's see, add another bank uh, anyone okay we'll make the payment through this bank and we'll click on success and successfully return the id and the toast message and here we can see all the transaction now i'm changing the digit to 600 just to reflect it and launching it again success now and let me pay it again and this time what we can do so you can see all the details here i forgot to mention so name and description what i gave there so you can see there and let me add another card now previously it was the visa card now i'm adding the mastercard so i'm adding the test credit card only and then you can use any future date any name any cvv number as well and just click on pay there you go click on success and the payment is success now so that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you